So right about now, um, we want to talk about awards and the most upcoming, like really, really upcoming ETA awards. And with me, I have the CEO of ETA Awards, and they're looking forward to the third edition of the awards. So we'll be getting to know what ETA Awards is, because I have also seen Kila Mtuanasema, we vote for them on ETA Awards. So I also <laughs> want to get to know what ETA Awards <laughs> is about. So yes. Edward, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yes. So kindly introduce yourself to the people watching back at home. Okay, to the viewers at home, my name is Edward Wilton's mm -hmm. Diary. Mm -hmm. I stay in Machakos County mm -hmm. and partly Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I'm from Busia County and uh, I am the executive director of the CEO mm -hmm. ETA Awards Kenya. Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, so it's ETA Awards. Yes. <laughs> it's ETA. Uh -huh. You see, it depends with where you went to school. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us call it ETA, uh -huh. some, of, uh, uh, some people call it ETA, mm -hmm. others call it ETA. So mm -hmm. it, it's just E-T-A. Uh -huh. All right. So yeah. what does ETA stand for? Uh, ETA? It's a rebrand, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to call ourselves Eastern Talanta Awards. Mm -hmm. That was back then. This is an idea that was born back then in 20. Uh, 19, 2017, mm -hmm. around there, mm -hmm. from uh, the initiative of uh, the former governor, Machakos. Kulikuwa mm -hmm. uh, an event that we used to call Talanta Festival at mm -hmm. the People's Park. I mm -hmm. remember so many artists used to come from Nairobi and other parts of Kenya, yeah. just going to uh, to the People's Park every Sunday to, mm -hmm. to perform. Mm -hmm. So Every that, Sunday? Yes, every okay. Sunday we used to have a very big sound and of course we have an amphitheater in Machako. So people used to come from different counties, mm -hmm. people traveling from all the way from Kisumu, Mombasa and other counties just come and perform on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from there we used to ask ourselves the question of, uh, yes, we've been doing this for quite some time, but now what next? Because yeah. this is just more of a platform uh, mm -hmm. where artists just come to showcase whatever they have. Mm -hmm. But now uh, after showcasing, what next? So that is when we thought of um, bringing up an award that probably was going to appreciate and reward these efforts. Mm -hmm. And that is how we thought of now having our first award, which was in 2021. Mm -hmm. We held it in Kitengela, and mm -hmm. it only had four counties. Okay. That was Machakos, Makweni, Kitui, mm -hmm. and Kajado County. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then from there, last year, out of the public demand, uh, so uh, I, I think the first year worked so well. Mm -hmm. So, so many people were requesting, why don't you stretch to all the counties in Kenya, and we were like, you know, you need to go step by step. Huh? Yeah. Uh, where's the answer to, and then you find yourself national. Mm -hmm. And we also, we, wa we, we wanted to make a very strong foundation before we get to the national level. And so we did uh, 12 counties last year. That is the entire eastern and uh, part of Rift Valley, which was uh, all the Maasai counties. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, now, uh, as we were laying our plans for the next five years, huh? Uh, one of the main things that we want to achieve by then is that by our fifth year, which is in 2025, mm -hmm. we are supposed to be taking over the East African market. Yeah. And that is why now we thought that we lay a Kenyan foundation mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. Next year we do Kenya. And then now 2025, we go to East Africa. Okay. So uh, in a nutshell, mm -hmm. that is what ETA Awards, how it started. Yeah. So we actually, because of going national, mm -hmm. we decided to rebrand, mm -hmm. to not to call ourselves Eastern, because mm -hmm. people are raising questions, why Eastern, why and Eastern? It's, yeah. uh, you're going national yeah. and all that. Okay. So we actually did a rebranding event mm -hmm. uh, on 5th of last month. Mm -hmm. And then that is the same day we were unveiling the nominees. The nominees, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And now we, we decided to come up with everything differently. Even this logo is totally different from All the right. logo we had last year uh -huh. and the other year. So uh -huh. it's a total rebrand yes. so that we may be able to accommodate all the Kenyans. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So um, what gap were you trying to bridge when you thought of, you know, ETA Awards? Like what, what, what did you see that you needed uh, fill in I think uh, generally our industry, the music industry is, uh, I wouldn't say dead, mm -hmm. but it's somehow eco eco too. Mm -hmm. You see there were back, uh, years back then that we used to have bingo awards. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bingo was covering all, both gospel and secular. And then we had Groove Awards, yeah. which was so huge. Mm -hmm. And it's I true. remember it was attracting artists even on the East African market. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenyans, uh, now if I talk about the, the, the gospel uh, uh, industry, mm -hmm. an artist was releasing a song in January targeting 
a nomination for Grove. Yeah. And that was sparring the, the, the industry growth so mm -hmm. much. As in alikuwa anafikiria tu manzeni kiwa nominated kwa Grove. Iyo nisha umoka as an artist. Yeah. So every other artist was looking forward to either being nominated as a new artist, mm -hmm. the gospel artist of mm -hmm. the year, ama the male or female artist of the year, maybe uh, the quality of their production was top notch because mm -hmm. Musa in the studio akijua. Manze, I'm it's wishing so this song can be nominated as the audio yeah, of the year, yeah, the video, video of the year. Mm -hmm. The producers were working so hard yeah. to be nominated just as the audio producer, I'm the TV mm -hmm. director of the year. But after he, he, he grew, he kaisha, he bingwa, he kaisha, industry karujuchini. So as any, like there's nothing the artists are looking up to. Mse mm -hmm. anamuka to studio, he just want to do whatever he wants to do, but there's nothing he's working towards. So that is why we thought that we could a, be able to bridge this gap mm -hmm. and at least bring something that artists can long for, artists mm -hmm. can work towards. Najua msanya kiamuka kijue nyeo, mimi I'm working the, uh, this hard because I want some recognition. Mm -hmm. Because again, these recognitions are the things that make artists yeah. getting known. Eh? Mm -hmm. Endorsements come from these recognitions. That is why you will see people like Nadamon and all that. They pay their flights, they go pay for accommodation in foreign countries mm -hmm. just to get, secure themselves these are collaborations so that they get nominated on uh, maybe B uh, BET, Amak, and Afrim Awards. Because it takes you to another it level. It takes you to a specific level, yeah. uh, somewhere you are not. Yes. Let's talk about the Kenyan market. Look at the uh, people like uh, Kina Bahati. Mm -hmm. Bahati became Bahati we know today we as a result groove. of Groove. Yeah. Ile, ile teme in group, I think it was three times or four times consecutively. Yeah. Everybody now was talking about, about Bahati. We lip all the same case. And we lip all the same case. The yeah. likes of Akina Gloria, the same yeah. case. But now today, where are we as an industry? If you are, you are asked today, Ulizo Manze, uh, industry, a Kenya, you are a TV host. Ina inda happy. You don't hear. I don't know whether you have an answer, but personally, mm -hmm. I don't. Because mm -hmm. there's nothing artists are working towards. Mm -hmm. So that is the gap we needed to bridge. Mm -hmm. To partier to a a platform where they can look at, I want to get to this level. Mm -hmm. I want to get this recognition so that different brands can identify who I am. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, planning um, such an event has its own challenges mm -hmm. and yeah. its own like ups and downs so mm -hmm. maybe tell us what are some of the challenges you have experienced you know um trying to plan for the third edition of eta awards uh bearing in mind that it's a national event mm -hmm. uh, it takes a lot mm -hmm. uh, of course resource wise uh, and uh, i'm talking about monetary and non-monetary resources yeah uh, it's so it's such a tedious process it involves you traveling to different counties mm -hmm and have not just me because mm -hmm. i have a team, have a team yeah, yeah. it's a team mm -hmm. uh, if you get our website to our website www.etawards.co.ke mm -hmm. you will get more information about our team mm -hmm. but as in this team yote uh, at some point uh, we toy up we peleke maybe coast am we peleke nyanza am we peleke western these are resources uh, we did coast media tour the other day and i was looking at myself and i was like wow if I knew what it all costs, <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten myself into this. Yeah. As we are speaking, part of our team is in Nakuru right now for uh -huh. the road shows. Yeah. We are partnering with Coca-Cola to do the road shows. Mm -hmm. So the road shows started yesterday. Mm -hmm. So they are ongoing. Mm -hmm. This morning when I was leaving my place, I was organizing the team that is covering uh, the, the road shows in the eastern region and okay. in Maasai counties. We mm -hmm. have a track that is going that direction. Mm -hmm. So again, you realize uh, the resources that are involved are uh, too much. Yeah. But uh, Mimi Kipienye Imeni, Imeni Fanyan Kafilam, uh, it's, it's a big task. It's worth it. Uh -huh. it's, it's worth it uh, uh -huh. and it's also a very big task mm -hmm. is that you get to mingle with so many creatives. Yeah. And that, I think, for me, it's very fulfilling mm -hmm. because you get to understand mm -hmm. the needs of different artists. Yeah. You know, seated where I'm seated, maybe in my house or in my office, mm -hmm. I may not be able to understand these artists. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we complain about artists too much, but we don't have time to understand. Yeah. Region Flani and you are seated with these artists. They are telling you the challenges they go through. They are telling you what they've gone through to be where they are. That is now when you understand that surely this industry needs a facelift to some extent. Mm -hmm. And so those are things we keep learning. So it has been a learning journey for mm -hmm. some of us uh, that were, had never had a chance to mingle with so many artists. 
Now, here it places your brand somewhere. Sometimes you go to different places, and uh, you, uh, you, you don't need to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Me sometimes na na Peter Malu na skia Edward. Then I'm like, okay, how do you? Ah, to look one of We were with you in Nakuru. We were in, with you in Busi, and yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's a good experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, what are your expectations for you know, ITA Awards, the third edi the third edition? Ah, uh, wow. Uh, maybe let me let me first start by when we were opening nominations. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the first year we only had around eleven thousand submissions yeah. for the four counties. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. The second year. We had 32,000 submissions. Uh -huh. That was last year for the 12 counties. Uh -huh. And now this year we had 58,000 oh. submissions. I was shocked at 11,000. <laughs> I don't know what to say at 58,000. <laughs> we had 58,000 submissions. And uh, wow, well, I looked at all these numbers and I was talking to uh, Tuva some time back. And mm -hmm. I was like, hey, bro, he's part of the team by extension. Yeah. So I was just telling him, uh, how do you even choose? Huh? from 58,000 to 400 nominees. <laughs> you sound shocked. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> wow. yes, we had to pay uh -huh. uh, for a team mm -hmm. of experts, yeah. a hotel for one good week mm -hmm. to sit down and evaluate all, all the submissions yeah, so that now they work. help us get the 400 submissions. So it has been a process. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we're expecting some serious competition. Mm -hmm. And one thing I always say about ETA is, most of the times, I always personally, I expect to win. They've never won. Mm -hmm. As in, it's always, nile ina kuchanganyanga akili, because you're like, flani ya mekwa kwa category, flani na flani na flani. And so everybody is voting for this person. Mm -hmm. But wherever this other uh, person will come from mm -hmm. to clinch this win, you don't even know. Yeah. You get it, huh? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm expecting some serious competition. Mm -hmm. And of course, out there to the people who are the nominees and their fans, mm -hmm. don't be relaxed. Mm -hmm. You see, Daniel you say maybe when superstar, you see also maybe something that I may have forgotten to mention is mm -hmm. that ETA is a regional award. Yes. So we don't focus on the Nairobi artists mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. Other awards that have been there were focusing on Wasani when you may make it nai. For us, we are focusing on the county artists. Wale Wasani when you say Akita Kwenda could perform maybe Marsabit. Uo msani ya spokuwa, iyo shua yezi ja. You get? Yeah. So those are the artists we are targeting. So you realize that we've got also the regional artists like we are Nyanza artists of the year. Mm -hmm. So unapata our sani wa Nyanza mm -hmm. kuna ule mse mwenye everybody is thinking huyu ndio atakuwa winner. Mm -hmm. Cuz wanamjua huko. Cuz wanamjua. Mm -hmm. But kuna hawa sani wengine oh, they are equally doing well yeah. but probably they don't have the social influence that mm -hmm. everyone expects. Mm -hmm. But um say king ya kwa ground mm -hmm. anajulikana mm -hmm. na akona ability ya ku mobilize votes. I think also something we may need to talk about someday mm -hmm. is this ability as, uh, as an artist. How are you able to mobilize resources towards yourself, mm -hmm. towards your brand? Because uh, again, unajua asani wengi wanalianga manzees, jui, mziki, ilipi, ABCD and all that. But you forget that as, as an artist, umeekwa somewhere where now you have a point uh, that you should be able to mobilize resources for yourself. You are supposed to come up with something that can spur this uh, particular brand that you're having. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the music we are doing. Unajua kuimba, me new sema as a talent developer, you kuimba, kuimba only contributes to 15%. Yeah. Whatever you do with this talent is what it's matters. What matters yeah. That is why sometimes unajulizang, ah, ni aje flani and I'm a hit na, mm -hmm. nobody knows him. Yeah. I'm a hana talent. Mm -hmm. But mziki yake manze, it's being played all over. All over. It's about mobilization mm -hmm. how can you be able to mobilize people to support your content mm -hmm. how are you able to talk communication also how are you able to talk to a presenter i'm sure eh, manze, you get huh? mm -hmm. but kuna ule msani ameka tu pale and expect you mean a big name i must kila kitu mkujie eh, kila kitu there, 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 there is work that needs to be done there's so much work after this i think actually the most work that needs to be done is after the studio yes you know i have gone to the studio i have recorded i have my video out it is that work that matters a lot. Your talent in a contribute to 15%. Mm -hmm. After that, there's the 85%. This 85% one, 
distribution. Yeah. You see, there's a question you guys who are most of the times. So where can we find your music? Answers in Akwanga YouTube. Mm -hmm. How much do you get uh, paid on YouTube? That is a question probably we may need to uh, answer at, at some point as stakeholders. Because mm -hmm. kuna ile watch hour, kuna mm -hmm. subscriptions. So unapata msani, hana watch hour. Hana watch hour, yeah. Hana subscriptions. Yeah. Zile a thousand zini zina. Uh, zinafanya, nini yako ikuwe monetized. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you may not be able to be paid with, uh, by YouTube. Yeah. So where else can you be able to mm -hmm. uh, gather resources for your brand? Mm -hmm. There are other platforms that you can be able to distribute yeah. your music. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, all the platforms, music is going digital. It's mm -hmm. actually digital, not yeah. going. Mm -hmm. So that means distribution is on digital platforms. Mm -hmm. How many digital platforms do you know as an artist? Mm -hmm. Both locally and internationally. internationally These are things the artists need to understand. Mm -hmm. Then from there, once you've been able to bring up all these platforms and making sure that your team has worked on me, having your music on these platforms, mm -hmm. now there's an aspect of marketing that comes on board. Mimi, one thing I always say, it's a turn off for an artist to share his music on a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. How many of us even open these songs on WhatsApp group? Well, kitumiwa imziki WhatsApp, how many times do you open? Broadcast list. Eh, hey, unatuma kwa broadcast. Kwanza ni kionanga tu wako kaiko na broadcast, I'm like, uh, this guy, he needs to be serious. Yeah. It's not even personal. It's, uh, it's not personal. It's not I personal. Know you, I know you've sent it to many others, so it's not, it yeah. doesn't have a personal it's touch. Not, it, it's not having that personal touch. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But Pia, ata, forget about personal touch. Mm -hmm. Ata ukinitumia tu WhatsApp direct. I just feel uh, kuna venye auko serious. Mm. How many emails do you have as an artist, as a different DJs, both on TV, radio, and club DJs, and other platforms, social entities? Do you have their email address? That is where now the marketing aspect comes, comes in. in. Okay. So from marketing, that is where now you can start earning. Mm -hmm. Because your music, iko kwa uh, platforms, zile zenye zinafazi kuwe. You've marketed it, uh, your music is being played. Uh, that is now, after that play, uh, be, uh, the aspect of being played, you have a few interviews now to introduce yourself and introduce your brand. That is where now people start associating themselves with your brand. Mm -hmm. And from there, that is where now the Wataenda wa stream. Because Wataenda, Flani Tulimona wa So, let me stream, let me see, Ako Boom Play or maybe any other platform. That is where Unapata Msanim, you may not know him that much, but who can hear kwa boom play streams zake ni mob. Na kuna mse mwenye unajua na hana streams. Mm -hmm. You see, that is how the difference between making money mm -hmm. and making a name. Mm -hmm. Nadia kuna msa ni akona jina na maze, vumbi na mchapa kwa hii barabara big time. Na, na kuna mse, ana jina, ana jina na ana cruise gari ingine awezi ya mini. Yeah. And ukiangalia at the end of the day, unapata hata ukiangalia bank statements, unapata he's being paid. Mm -hmm. A very good example in our Mount Kenya artists. Mm -hmm. These people, you may not know them, but they've mastered the art of music distribution. Yeah. You go to Skiza, they are the highest paid artists. Mm -hmm. And that is something when I say, I'm a very big name. I may win my awards, but you can win a bank account. You can win a bank account. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we need to work. <laughs> All right, so um, one last question before we wind up. Um, mm -hmm. After the event, what does ITA do to keep, you know, or, or rather to, keep, to make sure that, you know, the people that have won, all the amazing artists, the amazing personalities that have mm -hmm. won, you know, you're keeping, you, you, you're staying connected with them and just making sure that their platform is growing bigger. I think, uh, I think as far the as the awards that are within is concerned, mm -hmm. uh, I think Eight Awards is the only artist uh, award that follows up mm -hmm. on artists mm -hmm. to see their growth. Mm -hmm. I have two examples. Uh, this 20th, uh, we are going to celebrate our male artist winner, our 2019, mm -hmm. and 2021, mm -hmm. the first male artist. He's called uh, Daniel Olemakau. Mm -hmm. He won as a male artist. From Eight Awards, mm -hmm. we were able to work with him, and from that he got a doctorate degree, mm -hmm. recognition. Mm -hmm. uh, as we are speaking, he is being conferred as a bishop mm -hmm. on 20th. Yeah. So we are going to celebrate two wins. Mm -hmm. then out of Kutembea Naikos, like e-doctorate, actually I was involved even on signing 
the documents recommending him, he got an international recognition. Mm -hmm. That came from ETA. Mm -hmm. Another example is DJ Queen. I don't know whether you know her, mm -hmm. but she's a big name right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, social status, uh, social sites. Okay. So she has almost half a million or thereabout mm -hmm. uh, followers. Huh? Mm -hmm. And this was as a result of ETA work. Mm -hmm. We met this girl back then in her village, mm -hmm. a place called Bisil in Kajado. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew about this girl. But as we are speaking, she has what we call DJ Queen Foundation mm -hmm. as a result of winning ETA DJ of the Year. She has her own DJ Academy as a result of winning ETA Awards. Mm -hmm. And normally what we do with the winners is we help them organize um, homecoming events mm -hmm. where we go and celebrate with them and introduce them to the community mm -hmm. and endorse them and say, this one has won uh, as this particular category winner mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in this year's award. So to Mekuja, we introduce to this particular community, we introduce him or her to the, the, the county officials and the department in charge, and we let them work together mm -hmm. so that they may be able to empower the communities yeah. even more. Okay. Maybe just wind up, we are doing the, uh, the, this year's event at yeah, Nairobi Cinema. Uh -huh. oh, Nairobi Cinema on 2nd of September. Mm -hmm. As we are speaking, people are voting. Mm -hmm. But on 2nd of September, as from 3 p.m., we shall be unveiling the winners for the ETA Awards this year. Mm -hmm. And of course, so many shocking news mm -hmm. this year. Yes. Yeah. All right. We also have um, one of our TV presenters in one of our shows that has been nominated yes. um, for ETA Awards 2023. So, mm -hmm. yeah, congratulations, Philin Jean and Bounce Nation, and all the best. Right, so um, <laughs> a parting shot as we wind up to the artists watching you, because I'm, I'm very, very certain that we have so many artists watching us right now because yeah. of the nature of our show. Mm -hmm. And you can give them a parting shot, a word of advice, and yeah. We uh, it one thing I'll say is that you, you need to work as an artist. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit down, don't just go to the studio and release songs and you feel you're done. You need to put in more effort. Mm -hmm. And of course, let us always work with God's timing. Don't push too hard. Uh, one of it was Ophania, or Zofania, or so on, or on, or some emotional disorders. Mm -hmm. Just work uh, smart. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you deliver as per the expectation on your own end. And any other thing will just fall in place. As long as you're doing everything right, you are linking up to the right people, you will definitely get there. Do not push yourself uh, too hard. The story of Lania may hit, so I must also hit due to Lianza Nae. Kila msee yuku anataimi yake. Mm -hmm. But make sure you connect yourself with the right people. I think as far as music is concerned, it's all about connection. Know someone who knows someone who knows someone. And at the end of the day, your music will get to someone who knows someone who knows someone. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So thank you so much, Edward, for joining us. Thank you as well. And all the best um, at ETA Awards 2023. And may it become as big as you want it to be. Uh, we are looking forward. We are uh -huh. looking forward to partnering with you uh -huh. guys yes, in please. future. Uh -huh. And we are inviting you guys. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's our letter invitation. Do you want to come? We are saying that you are going to show and you are going to come. So I'm... Um, uh -huh. Extending our invitation yeah. even to the DJ mm -hmm. and the, uh, the producer Karibuni Sana to eight awards this year's edition, mm -hmm. second September at the Nairobi Cinema. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now at least I have I have a gown ready. So <laughs> I have somewhere to go and <laughs> look busy. In. Thank you so much for the invitation as well, and all the best once Thank again. You. And Thank congratulations you. to all the nominees out there that have. Um, be nominated for ITA Awards 2023 and may the best person win. Yeah, so right about now, um, we are about to get into Request Hour, but before we do that, we will definitely have our MC come through and introduce himself and we get to know what are our expectations for the Request Hour. And we are taking a short break, don't you go anywhere, we'll be back with more of the ITA Kids. <laughs> 